I was born in Africa, Nigeria, and I would have had a little luck if my parents were bankers or lawyers in Lagos, Port Harcourt or Abuja, which happened to be the richest cities in my country. But I grew up in a village, a deep, dark, poor village, where you never see electricity, tarred roads or even cars. Saying my village is poor is like saying hellfire is hot. Why are you repeating the ugly truth? But then, when I was 17, something started occurring to me. I had two choices. I could blame everyone and everything for the rest of my life or try and figure out how to live an above-average life. My journey from poverty to wealth was long and boring, and I don't promise you that this video will do magic for you. But I do wish that a few things I'll share in this video will help you if you're living in a poor country. Making money from heaven You see, living in a poor country means that you're exposed to a lot of restriction, among which the poor economy is the king. If poor people are poor, they can't afford your products. So even if you try to build a business, you'll either not be able to sell at a good price or you won't sell much of what you sell. But what if we can find a way around that? What if we can make money from heaven? This is what I did. A few years ago, I was living in a very small town. Needless to say, everyone was poor, so you can't make money living there. But there was another advantage to that, and that is everything is cheap as well. So what if I could figure out how to make money from rich cities while living in a poor town? Well, that was exactly what I did. Though I was living in a very small and poor town in my country, I was making money from more than 20 cities in my country. Such money may not be hundreds of thousands of dollars, but when you make money from a richer economy than where you live, you become richer than most people can imagine because you're living in a cheaper place and spending less. So, how did I do it? Well, ask Mr. Internet. You see, I've spoken a lot about the power of the Internet on this channel and I don't think I can ever speak too much about it because that silly thing called the Internet literally changed my life. Here's what I did. I built an agri-technology company. One of the things we do is to connect the people who want to start an agri-related businesses with the people who have been in the business before. That doesn't seem like a great idea, but wait till I finish the story. We run a blog, use a website, a YouTube channel, and sometimes a few social media campaigns. Now, it's becoming interesting, right? We then use the keywords we know people in my country are using to look for our products and services. Why I am not trying to make all these processes seem super easy, I ended up building a business that was making me more money than almost everyone in my town. And how that happened was simple. Our blog, website, YouTube channel were attracting clients for us from the richest cities in my country. These people can pay because they have money and their money means a lot to my business because I use that money in a cheaper location. Does that seem like what makes sense? There's more you need to know. You see, as we grew, we started making money outside our country and that actually could make you feel like you're in heaven. How can you be in a little town, in a poor country and be making money from five countries in the world? Again, blame the internet for that evil. Like every other entrepreneur, I was always on the lookout for something new, a new land to explore. So, we discovered that we can build a gigantic media company. Not like the way the world knows it, but in a new way, by using the power of the internet. We started and sacrificed all the resources we get from our previous ventures and again, the miracle happened. Today, we make money from more than 50 countries in the world. That is what I call making money from heaven. Some people love my personal stories and feel inspired by them. Well, you can now have access to even more inspiring stories of the people who rose from nothing to build great lives for themselves. All you have to do is to join our other channel which we call Fame TV right in the description box. Look beyond your country. If you live in a poor country as you watch this video, one of the best advice I can give you is look beyond your country. Stop thinking that you are caged because you are not. Your grandfather was caged and your great-grandfather was, you are not and you should stop thinking you are. Instead of complaining about poverty, figure out how you can make money from a richer economy. People who are in a better economy than where you live can pay better for your products and services. 
And since you're living in a cheaper economy, you'll be spending less money than your competitors and that will make you relatively richer than them. If you live in a village, sell to those in town. If you live in town, sell to those in the city. If you live in a city of a poor country, try and sell to other cities in the world. That brings me to another question. How can I possibly do this? Well, this is the biggest problem I have with most people and it's called resourcefulness. Most people in the world today are raped and deceived by the systems so they are not resourceful and when you're not resourceful, you can't create, build or sell anything worth paying for. Being resourceful starts by understanding the simple technologies around you. For example, I just fired one of my employees last week simply because he could not do simple things on a computer. This is hard to believe but even in the 21st century, most people are still dumb about basic things. So, to start with, you have to learn, study and understand how the simple technologies around you work because they are the ones you can use to make reasonable money. The second thing is that you just have to have what someone else doesn't have because how in the world can anyone pay you if you don't give them any value? Then, someone will ask me in the comment, how do I give or have value? Start by investing in your mind. Be curious and restless. Don't live a normal life that every 21st century person leaves. Read, study and have some sleepless nights. I can't tell you what you can sell because I don't know who you are and what your strengths are but I can tell you that if you develop your mind and invest in yourself, your mind will help you to figure out what is the best for you. I don't even know if this video makes any sense but let me try and repeat a few things I've tried to show you. One of the best ways to escape poverty if you live in a poor country is to make money from a better economy. This won't only allow you to get people who can afford what you sell, it will make you richer than most people because you'll make money in an expensive economy and spend it on a cheaper one. To be able to do this the way I did it, you must be resourceful. You can't just be like an average Joe and to do something, you must learn and know what most people won't even bother to know and you must have something that others are willing to pay for. If this video is helpful, then we invite you to join the Fame TV which is our other channel where we share inspiring stories of the successful people who rose from nothing to greatness plus some villains too. We love you.